Why did I enter the mobile industry? I remember at the time thinking this is a new field. They will need people with new ideas and I will have an opportunity to contribute to creating something. People tend to think of mobile and ICT as a technology sector, so you need to be an engineer and you need to code in your garage. But, but yes, you can do that, but you can also do a whole range of things. You can work in, in pure technology, you can do software development, you can, uh, you can work on, on uh, the networks of the future, like 5G. You can be in marketing, you can be in public relations. The most rewarding part of my work is getting people together, you know, different people uh, from different industry sectors, from different nationalities, and, and getting them all focused on solving one problem. Regulatory experts and technology experts, and it can be uh, people in, in sales, and it can be people in Asia and people in Europe. 3.7 billion people in the world have access to mobile services and use them. You can develop new services, you, you can bring health uh, improvements and, and financial inclusion to a lot of people. And then there's the other half of the world's population that doesn't have access to mobile, and that means we can do many things to improve the lives of people through growing the mobile platform. So mobile is a, and, and the ICT is a very uh, male-dominated sector. Uh, at the GSMA, I'm quite lucky. We have a very gender-balanced uh, team. Uh, we have uh, over 600 people and about half of them are women. Now, of course, a lot of the uh, meetings I attend uh, with our members, our, our board meeting, uh, there's a majority of men and, and there's disadvantages and advantages. Everybody remembers me all the time, <laughs> which can be an asset. Uh, and, and also it means that you have to be more careful. In terms of what the overall sector can do, I think there's many things. I think each individual manager has a responsibility and, and needs to do more. Um, I think just being conscious about numbers uh, and KPIs is very important. Knowing the number of women employed uh, in companies uh, at various levels of responsibility, knowing uh, the number of women who are using services as, as compared uh, to men, knowing those numbers and having a target to improve them uh, a little bit uh, in, in the next few months, in the next year. I think that's what everybody can do. So now if I think about advising women about careers in the ICT sector, my main message would be don't be afraid, just go for it. Uh, there will be uh, a number of people who will question, is it really what you should do? Is it really for women? You will have the ad added advantage of being one of few and you will stand out and I'm sure you will be successful. <laughs>